Today is November 11th. It's November 11th. This is uh, Michael and CJ's wedding day. 1111 is a really lucky number in Chinese. It's like unity and it's eternity. For me, just growing up, 11 was like a magical number. When I saw 1111 on the clock, it felt lucky to me. Me and my friends would kiss the clock. I tell myself, why be one once if you can be number one twice, right? So I know it's a bit presumptuous and kind of highly speaking of yourself, but we're just really competitive. We really want to be able to be the best that we can be. And I feel that she's my other one. So together we're, we're our 11. We're hanging out at the Kimpton Hotel in Chicago. It's been a long, amazing journey to see them come together and I'm about to make it official. All sorts of emotions. I'm excited about this day that we have planned with all the people that we love around us. We attended a training together where we didn't really encounter each other at the very beginning. It was called The Bridge. It was intended to bridge new Asians in the company. What ended up happening was we decided to have like a golf outing together and then literally everyone else dropped out except for the two of us. But yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail. It was pretty embarrassing how bad I played. We spent three, four hours playing terrible golf. She would miss the ball, I would miss the ball, but more so her. It was actually really cute, and I was just like, wow, this, this is something here. I got a special delivery for the bride here from the main man of the day, the groom. What do you think's in there? You know, I don't know, but I do like this little green box. Wow, I have to show you this because he does calligraphy. So, of course, he would do it in calligraphy. It says, CJ. My one, my wife. A day to remember for the rest of my life. Hope you love what's inside this box. Let it be more of a symbol of what it unlocks. Your one, your husband, Michael Moy. I say I love keys, and he says stuff about unlocking. So you got me, you got me something with a key. Ah, oh my goodness. You're Michael. I can't believe this day has finally arrived, 11-11, the most magical day of the year. Almost 11 years in the making, from our near messes before college to our fateful meeting at Bridge, finally. I always felt deep down you were someone special I'd be lucky to have as my better half. And you've turned out to be the best decision of my life. This day is just the beginning, and I'm excited to see what is in store for us. This will be really interesting, uh, what's in a Tiffany's box? <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. These are cufflinks, so nice. I love them. He formed a project for my proposal and named it Taco for Tiffany and Company. He actually took it upon himself to create a whole experience for CJ at their house. When we went into my home, the first thing that she saw was a glow-in-the-dark golf course. She hit a hole-in-one, something that me and my friends have tried a lot. It was really difficult, and I was surprised that she was able to do it. The proposal came together very well. It was, I think, very us, very thoughtful, very much him. And then beyond that, I took her into a different room in my home. In that room, it was just candles that say, will you marry me, this whole flower path around the circle, and that's where I proposed to her. So beautiful. She's like a fairy tale dream come true. CJ is just an incredibly kind, thoughtful, intelligent human being. She's honestly so open and caring for Michael. I can tell that like she wants the best for him and wants the best for each other. My family that's in China who weren't able to make it bought me some jewelry way long ago. They're all really nice. I'm excited to wear them. Feeling really excited.
excited. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her since maybe midnight last night, so I'm just really, really excited to see her. One of the things I admire most about Michael is I really appreciate how genuine and real Michael is. He's someone that just knows what he wants, knows what he values, and really doesn't care about what other people think. And I see the same traits in CJ and Michael's relationship. You know, their love is fierce and deep. They're always pushing each other, making each other better, whether it's in the moment or planning for the future. CJ and Michael are the epitome of two people that truly love each other for exactly who they are. Michael's violin here. He's got a special something planned for his bride. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to hear it and hopefully get a peek of it. My favorite thing about Michael, I think, honestly, it's just how much he cares about everything. You know, it, he, he truly goes the extra mile, whether it's helping out a friend or you know, creating something for CJ. I think his determination is always very inspiring. He does anything he wants to do. He just decides he wants to do it and then he does it and it's always been very impressive to me. He's like the Olympic gold medalist of boyfriend and husband material. Seriously, CJ, I've never seen her so happy. He's just an amazing person. He's got a really big heart. When I talk with her, I can say anything to her, no judgment, no bias, no anything, and what makes it special is together we're just much stronger and better people. The way they look at each other and the way that they smile and their happiness just radiates off of them. They love each other. You can see that. They make sure both of them are well taken care of. I think the way you make a wonderful couple. <laughs> we are headed to the Rookery. We're going to celebrate at this historic Chicago venue. What I'm looking forward to the most today is the crowd's reaction to seeing CJ in her wedding dress. I would say probably the I do's and her vows. For me, it's that point of commitment and just being one. On behalf of the bride and groom, thank you to all of you for coming today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love. And today we celebrate the uniting in marriage of C.J. Dye and Michael Moore. With this ring, I be wed. I give it to you as a symbol of our vows. With all that I am. And all that I have. I give myself to you. I give myself to you. Now, it is my privilege to present to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Moy. Michael, you may kiss your bride. Today 
is the beginning of a long and united life of love. Michael's mom and I wish to thank God for bringing Michael and CJ together and to share this happy occasion with our family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Michael Moy. I'm looking forward to celebrating with both of them and uh, enjoying the night. It'll be great. Seeing their dance and probably hearing Ani's speech, those are always my favorite things. CJ, you are one of the smartest individuals I've ever met. You constantly think about others and learn to make them a better version of themselves. You are a person of great integrity, and as long as I have known you, you've never wavered from your moral compass. You are truly one of the most beautiful people I've known inside and out. It seems that yesterday that has come and gone so fast, but now my little girl has all grown up. And today, she has joined hands with a wonderful young man, Michael. Please join me today in wishing Michael and CJ a long, joyful life together as husband and wife. As I stand here in front of your friends and family, I'd like to ask that we all raise a glass to celebrate a couple we should all strive to be. Two individuals who love, motivate, and respect each other endlessly. May we all celebrate the continuation of their love for many, many, many years to come. To CJ and Michael. CJ and Michael, I am so happy for you two, and I could not be more excited to watch this next chapter of you two as husband and wife. So with that, I ask you all to please raise your glasses high and join in me in wishing these two beautiful people a lifetime of happiness, joy, magic, and love. Cheers to Michael and CJ forever.